हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ए चैनल फॉर लर्निंग सिंपल कोडिंग इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो टू बी हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स फॉर इट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन यूज डेटा स्टोर प्रिफ्रेंसेज इन एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन डेटा स्टोर प्रिफ्रेंसेज एंड प्रोटो is a new modification in android application that has been deprecated <coughs> share preferences earlier we were using share preferences for storing some information light information in android application like setting color combinations username password so whenever we don't want to connect with database means sqlite or we don't want to use room api so we always prefer to use share preferences but share preferences is deprecated now google introduce data store data store is two type first one is just like a share preferences we call preferences and second one is proto that is type safe type safe means you can use data type variable like integer float type of information object type of information you can store in proto but in preferences you can store non safe type information means doesn't concern the data type of the value as we were using in share preferences so in this example i am taking uh, a interface like this and i am going to give you a demonstration of uh, data store preferences so here we have a two button first is for registration second for login so uh, if i am opening this page this uh, this uh, activity first time then we will register username and password and if i am using second time then i will click on login and my new activity will open so i have a two activity in this application so this is the main one so we will start here so in gradle file i have enable view binding also so it's very simple just we have to enable view binding like this and we have enable here view binding also in this application you see i have enable view binding view binding is a mechanism to remove find by view id and android application so the first thing for uh, implementing your uh, data store preferences is yeah, we have to install the dependencies in gradle file so for that i have already opened this google platform developer.android.com just you have to type uh, data store in google and you will reach to this website this page here we have the dependencies if i am using a data store proto means type safe then i have to store this one uh, but i am using preferences so i will take this one so this dependency i need and if you want other support of rx java 2 and 3 then you can use this also these are optional but i am using this one this dependency and i add this dependency here and you know that this uh, data store preferences use flows and coroutines so we need to add coroutines also so just open coroutine also like this and we have to add the dependencies of coroutine also like this so just i copy this and i add the dependencies for coroutines also like this and i click on synchronization so two dependencies we require first one is data store preferences for preferences and if you use proto then you need one more for proto also and here i need a coroutines so just i close it now the thing is finished now we have to implement the data preferences so if i go to this data store and down and you will see that for preferences Uh, we have to copy this line this is for kotlin so this line is required for creating the data store don't need to remember you just copy paste and here we use i'm using context so just remove this context no need to this i'm creating a name this data store and we are using here preferences that's why we are passing data store preferences and by 
preferences data store this is the name and here i can set any name which i want just like i am giving here login because i am using a login info so i create here data preferences name login so data store preferences name is login so this one is outside the on create under the class so i can access this throughout my class throughout my activity so this is need to be created so this is the data store now we have to create a two suspended function like one for saving information and second for your the reading information so we say here a suspend function and give the uh, save info save login info like this and here i'm passing uh, first one is key and second one is value like this then we have to uh, create a key first of all so for key what we have to see we can go to this and we have the option here for reading and writing so you see we have to this so for reading writing we need a key first of all so uh, this way you can create your key the example is given here so i need a string key so i will create a string one so how we can create just we are using here this creative val because we are not changing this and i say uh, login key and here i say string preferences key and here i can pass the uh, key which i am creating here so by this way i will create a key and then by using uh, data store we can stick here also we have this data store dot edit like this we can copy paste this one also like this and just remove the context from here and in place of setting i will have a login because this is the login so data store dot edit and in place of this i need login also i don't need this one uh, i don't need uh, this one this information i need only that i will store and this is uh, for reading so i don't want this i need here login and here i have to pass the login key login key and here i have to pass the value which i am using here that may be the password we can say if key and value i am here saying but we can also give the name username and password also so this value will save here in a key this key the one function is created second function for reading this value suspend function and i say read login info like this and here i will create only one parameter for key, key parameter just copy this one here and paste here same key we required and we required return type is string because i want to read the password uh, then i say data store dot we can say here data dot first first we require and here we will have the preferences equal to like this and here i return preferences and key i have to pass here login key dot to string like this so this first will return the first will return the key the value from this data and this data we are going to read and for edit we want to save this information will come here 
and I will pass here key in this preferences and this value will return here. So whenever I pass a key then I will have the value. So these two function we require and we remember that suspended function is always run from the coroutine. So we will do here the same thing. So first thing just to uh, save the information. So I am just using binding dot btn dot register. So in this register I will save the information. So set on click listener and here I am checking if binding dot txt uh, your username and password is not empty we have to check is not empty and binding dot txt password dot text dot is not empty then if it is not empty then we will do the things and if it is empty then we will give the toast also that please insert username and password just for information and we have a toast dot duration dot show this one now what we have we have to check here we have to save the information so what information i have to use the save login information so i say uh, save login information and here i will pass the binding text value as a key so i will pass here as a key and dot to string and second i will pass here this password as a value dot to string like this remember this is suspended function so it will run under the coroutine so I will create here global scope dot launch here and I will use this function here like this okay so it will save the information and after uh, after saving the information we will display the toast the information has been saved so that i will do here that that we can say register user register okay user registered then information register user has been registered here now i need one more uh, button so i say binding dot login dot set on click listener and here i will use one more for reading information so for reading we need this function read login information so I just use this and here I will pass I will check uh, I will check the same information just I copy this and I paste this one and uh, I check only username and password we can check and uh, uh, in place of save I can use read read login info and So we have to use here read read login info and it will return here uh, the value of a string type that would be the password okay and doesn't need to pass second value and uh, what I do I say insert password and here after that i will check that if this uh, uh, password 
is equal to equal to or we can say password dot equals we can match and that would be if I say uh, Tevatiya if the password is Tevatiya then what we will do uh, we will do like this and else we will give the toast information like this that user information is wrong user name or password is wrong okay and here if the user name pass is equal to equal to the user name which i am saving Tivitya, then i will call the intent so i say val intent intent and i say application context and here i say new uh, activity that is welcome class.java like this and then i say start activity and i say intent so like this we have created so we have read the information we have saved the information now i try to execute the information it is okay or not you see if i say register it say username password insert so i say here a weapon and i say here theotia and i say register and it is crashing why we have some problem so i check the error also what is the error dispatcher problem is there we have a problem regarding uh, dispatcher so i have to here and i have to set here dispatcher dot main like this and here also i have to set dispatcher dot main so again i try to run it so here i type weapon and teotia i say register so i have information user registered so uh, if i give some other name i say you can say i say search in and i give some other information abc and i click on login so you say username and password is wrong but if i say weapon and i say the password is teotia and i click on login and you see the login activity is started once again i try to run so if i give here a weapon and i say teotia that means the same key is already saved and i click on login button so we have already login so like this we also use share preferences and here i have given you the example of data store preferences and in next video i will also give you an overview of proto how you can use proto so that's all in this video i think you have learned something from this video if you really learn kindly share like my video and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video